Hi everybody, so this is an update to uh, an email that I received about uh, message threading within Gmail and a couple of the different options that you have there about replying and forwarding and also um, in this particular tip it was printing. And in your Gmail, uh, which you may have noticed different than traditional email where you'd have a, a message thread, um, that's what the default is for Gmail is that each time a reply is added to an email, it doesn't come in as a new email, but actually gets tucked in to the original as a thread. So in this example, when you see the, uh, the email listed here that comes into the mailbox, you'll see a number at the end of that particular email that shows you how many stages there are in the thread. And if I click on it to open that email, you'll see, and I, I've been sending it back and forth to myself, which is why that's, that name is listed there. But for each reply, there's a different color and then a different user uh, email address that you'd be uh, replying to or forwarding here in the thread. And you can click on each phase in the thread to expand those, or you can go over to the right and choose expand all, and that will open up all of those. And then you can scroll through to see the message threading uh, as it might be there. So if I'll collapse that all again, um, one of the options that you do have is to print all, and that will print every message that's in the thread. But the question that I received is about how do you print one little piece of that particular thread. And we're going to kind of cover that as we go about uh, replying to the threads as well. So as you're having a conversation via email, one of the things you might find important is to actually reply to one particular part of the thread and or print one particular part of a thread. So to do that, you can actually open that particular thread that you would like to reply to or print. And over to the right, the reply button that's, that's positioned right here on that particular thread is where you'd actually click to reply to just this part of the thread and not the entire thread. If the thread was collapsed and you came down here just to the bottom and hit reply, what it would do is stack your reply here at the end of the thread as if you're replying to the entire sequence. If I wanted to reply to part one of the thread, I would click on that, then click reply, and insert my reply here. I'm going to discard that change and come back to the beginning here so you can see this at the top. And the same thing applies to printing, that if you wanted to print the entire thread, you come over here to click print all, and it would actually print every stage in the thread. Or if you wanted to just print one particular piece of that particular thread, you'd expand that thread go over to the right where you see reply, go a little bit further to the down arrow, and you have some other options here like print. And when you click print, it will pull that message out onto its own window and also pop up your printer dialog box and allow you to then print just that one particular thread uh, of that original message. So the same rules work for printing as replying. Uh, when you're dealing with threaded messages in Gmail. So I hope that uh, you find that particularly handy and paper saving. So enjoy that tip. Thanks for watching.